What's good, people? Welcome again to another episode of the Canon Cast. Um, jumping straight into it. I think the last time we spoke, we've now played against Forest and lost 1 0. And then on the final day of the season, we beat Wolves 5 0. Guys, what did you think of the games? Yeah, I thought uh, Forest was a shambles and uh, can't complain with 5 0. Forest was a shambles. I thought uh, we were just poor the whole game. Defence wasn't great. Uh, conceding that goal was awful. Uh, attacking wise, we didn't actually give anything the whole game. Against Wolves, though, we switched it around, but it was against Wolves, who didn't really have much to play for at that point. Neither did we. Yeah. Uh, what did you guys make of it, boys? Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, obviously, the first game was a bit... Well, to be fair, it was very disappointing. I thought we were going <laughs> to batter them, but... No. Nah. Um, and then the second game was just like a easy win and then Granite scored two goals as well which is nice Big up Xhaka I mean Xhaka looks like he's on his way out at the moment um, do you think do you think that he's on his way out do you think we can replace him with anyone better that is we're, we're linked with we're linked with Declan Rice Declan Rice but today I heard that he's linked with Bayern, Bayern I saw yeah. that as well yeah, yeah. yeah. Tuchel's been having conversations with him so yeah I don't know if that's a move that he would take though right you know uh, there's not many like big English stars that move Oh yeah, I feel like he's staying stay in the Premier League, but yeah. Oh, do you think you you take Rice over Caicedo? Do you think? Ooh. Oh yeah, man, all day. Well, that's a good question, you know. All day, Jack. What are you thinking? Obviously, United stance and that. Um, Who do you think would be a better fit at Arsenal? I'd rather you get Caicedo so we can get Rice, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. but uh, is, I think both of them are the same in the sense that they can both attack and defend. Really well. No, I think Caicedo attacking. He uh, offers I think more. I what think. Caicedo than Rice no, attacking? No, as in he just offers like, for example, he's been playing like right back for Brighton. He does like, the same as he offers more options. Whereas I think Rice does oh, what I he does what better than Caicedo, but I think he just does one thing very good. But that's not. I think uh, Arteta the way he plays, he normally like Xhaka goes further forward and then Zinchenko yeah. pulls into his position. Into. So I don't think he'll be needed for that. But I think both of them can play that position. Yeah. But well, I mean, yeah. I don't think Caicedo scored any goals this whole season, has he? Ooh. Against United, it was it this season or last season that goal against United was sick. Like when he first came up to the scene, he scored against United. But Declan was... Rice, he's been scoring as of late. He even makes runs and yeah. Europa League, Premier League, well. scoring. So, so yeah, some of his runs are sick, aren't they? I think, although we're linked with both of them, I think Rice would probably be a better option, personally. It, yeah. The only issue is it's going to be pricey. It's probably it like, 100 million. Yeah. I, I don't think, think we have that money, do we? 100 million for Rice or 70 mil, probably, or 75 million for Caicedo. Well, I saw you had a, apparently you got a 200 million bankroll for this summer, I've heard. Yes. Uh, it's looking very juicy. But we're going to have to offload some players as well. So Definitely. Right. But then obviously uh, you got, obviously like, you know, that you had um, Saliba offering him 130k and he's not taking yeah, that. Yeah. I'm know. sure he'll sign, he's just playing negotiations. Well, you know what I mean, Arte- yeah. Yeah. trying to boost he's up his team. Game, he's right? going to he stay. He wants young people to stay in Arsenal, like Philip Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> people <laughs> stay no idea. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look to get cancelled. I mean, he's, he's, he's a free agent. So <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I think he's playing hard to get. <laughs> I think he deserves the two hundred. I don't know about two hundred k though, but I think he deserves it after this season. He does. He was way better than everyone. Even I think Thomas Partey was brilliant throughout the season, but I think he was our main player. Yeah, I think Odegaard amazing. Jesus good, but Saliba. That's the guy. And, and he was only on 40k a week as well, right? I think, like, he was one of the lowest paid players in the in the squad. And we felt the his absence when he got injured. Yeah, big biggest, time, biggest miss yeah. for your team throughout that whole period where you sort of went on like. Uh, if, even like though we tangent, th- we thought Jesus would be the biggest miss, but he wasn't. I think Ketia actually did quite well filling his boots. Yeah, like. Shout out in man. He really rode that. Shout out my man. Yeah, I was so impressed with, because I was thinking, where are the goals going to come from? Throughout, yeah. You know, because everyone was saying, like, oh, once he- Jesus is injured, what's going to happen? Where's your goals going to come from? But he did he did step up, and, I mean, he's, he's not going to be getting like I mean, Jesus actually replaced him with, what, was it Lacazette? He's scoring 27 goals at the moment, mm. French League. Mm-hmm. Um, Balogun as well, twenty goals, I think. Oi. What yeah. are we saying about him coming back? So we've Very actually let go of some look like good strikers, man. Aubameyang not quite the same, but but Balogun was on loan, so what are we saying when he comes back? Should when he comes him? back, uh, oh, I think he should go alone again, personally. But I think to a Premier League team, okay. doing it in France, yes, yeah, sick, especially the amount of goals he scored. But he needs to do a Prem now, so I'd offload him to probably on loan. Maybe these teams fighting for Europa, like. Brentford, Fulham, these sort of teams. Oh, Brentford's a good shot, especially with um, Tony. Tony. Out oh, yeah. Out for... So, yeah. so giving a loan deal to Balogun over there. If they won him, I mean, they might not like the 
the way he plays and that, but I think he'll be a good addition to any Premier League club, personally. I think I think you'd have to see how he is in and around the club first, because if he's if he's on fire, we're definitely going to need a backup striker. Yeah, around. so it could be even in Ketio going. You don't know, and and I don't think mm. I think these guys they probably want to play football, man. They don't want to be coming sure. off the bench. I mean, Jesus always gets injuries well, though. Right? Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. So I I would say just stay there, try and fight for your place, man. Yeah, but then like Smith Rowe hasn't really been getting much of a Injuries sniff, has he? Mm. He was injured as well for mm. a bit of the season. But when he comes back, he's going to be on it. I think he's a techie player. Man. But where 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 is he coming in though? Exactly. When everyone's so playing, maybe he's so coming well. in that Jacker role. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, but we do need depth, and one, um, yeah, I think if we're going to fight for Premier League next year, and we've got Champions League, so we need de- definitely the depth. Yeah. So speaking about Champions League, what are our Champions League chances next year? Do you think we've got a good chance? We'll see. Do you reckon you'll be? Two? Are you taking the yeah pot two? Pot two. Are you being? Are you saying? Are you ask? Are you t- asking us if you're going to win it? <laughs> Actually, no, how far, how well do you think we're going to do? As in, are you, you going to be on Thursday night by December? No, I think we we'll get out of the <laughs> group. Stage. Never know. We we'll get out of the group stage. Yeah, we we'll get out of group. If if we make it to quarterfinals in the Champions League, first Champions League back in a long time. Mm. I think that's a, I think that's a good start. I think we have to do well in the group, so the next knockout round does get a bit easy. Normally, we sort of. Flop it in the group, finish second. Mm. Then we got like Bayern Munich in the north. <laughs> yeah, like twelve two on yeah. aggregate. Or something. Yeah. yeah. So I think uh, I think with I think a depth is a big thing because we've finished second this season. We got knocked out of Europa, FA Cup, League Cup. We got to stay in the Champions League and get that squad depth in. So we need to sign Rice, Casado, these guys, fill up the squad so we can compete in Premier League and Champions League. You need to. Well, I think the only team that's fit. For purpose, for you know, three competitions and Champions League is Man City. I don't think any other team is prepared to be in all four competitions in terms of like player depth. Like, look at United. There was like at one point it was like seven or eight key players out, and you know the game, the game fixture. You could just tell people were just getting like tired, L- like legs were just so bad on people, and people were just giving up and. And that's where City, that part of that period where they'll just go on this winning run. I mean, do you actually think we could beat teams? like We lost to Sporting and that was a good team we had. We had Saliba in defence. Yeah, he went off injured, but we lost on penalties at the end of the day. So, but was the mentality actually, there though, right? Do you, uh, do you think we're actually going to compete with the top, top teams? Yeah, we can say, yeah, we've done good in the Premier League. But when it actually matters, when it counts... We mm. can see we actually like buckle to the pressure, man. So we, we also rotated the team every single time we played in the Europa. We didn't play our first team. I would say you did. Nah, we played like... Towards the end, we did bring them on. Nah, but even so the yeah. group stage, we played the second string team, most of them. Yeah, but like more like knockout stages. Yeah, knockout stage, we played the second... Half, half of it was rotated. Kibio was playing, bro. Yeah, and I thought he did all right that game. <laughs> one against. Uh, well, he didn't play against Sporting. Wait, which one are you talking about? I don't know, he played one of them in a <laughs> Did he? Oh, okay. I mean, I might come no, on. he do played you think the, the, game, the game before... Who did we have before Sporting? I he think played he played home or one of them. He played one of them, I think. He played the game before... No, he, yeah, he played the first, yeah, the first leg. First yeah. leg, yeah. yeah, and then second fair leg. Fair dues, fair dues. Do you um, think you miss the physicality when it comes to like Champions League games against yeah, these European teams? Yeah, our players are too teams. nice, man. You see, like I think Martinelli is the only one that's really going to go about. Maybe Jesus, but the rest of them, they will get smashed if they go away to home, like to Red Star, Belgrade, even. That sort of, you, you know, know what I mean? mean? Yeah, these guys will get turned over. I can't lie, but I think when we um, get. Caicedo, Rice, or somebody like Gundogan, who's won trophies and knows what to do. You if need them get physical uh, leaders. I can't see us getting nah, not Gundogan, Gundogan, man. No, no, no. I don't think City will sell, sell us a player again. Yeah, it's true. About it's done now, <laughs> Cancelo could potentially come. I can't. There's no way. Yeah, but yeah. Surely not. Gundogan's calm, isn't it? He's sick, in it? But he's old, isn't it? And we just bought Jorginho as well. So, no point going for oldies. So, who do you think is going to get further? Arsenal or Man United in the Champions League? Arsenal all day. Arsenal, surely. Yeah. The thing is, our Champions League... Uh, I have I a feeling it's going to be Man United, man. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you no, why. I, can I think we're even going to be pot two as well. Ten Hag is I good think. at com- cup competition, he's good. <laughs> he is. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> cup competition, he's he good. Is. No, but I think he... I think he's got to be back this week. <laughs> 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 he's got the mentality. I don't know. I think he just drills it into people that we have to win. He got to the final with Ajax. And for us, we haven't had in history on in the Champions League for so long. We've We've been really poor for mm. time. Ever since the Barcelona final, that gives me nightmares, I'll be honest. 
sleep tight. And, sleep t- tight. and ten guys still got the he still got the FA Cup final as well, right? Which is yeah, well, you know, uh, not completely out of his hands. <laughs> so are you hopeful, Jack? Uh, Absolutely not. We've got what, no Marshall. No, but when no, you for that, when no, you make signings, oh, because you're going to be happy. Let's be honest, guys. Harry Kane. Wait, wait, no, I, he's, talking I, about I the, he's talking about the FA Cup. I'm final. on the FA Cup. Oh, sorry, my bad. So, but like, it's Veghorst versus Haaland and Alvarez. Watch, watch Vegas go at hat trick. This ain't no comedy show, yeah. man. <laughs> we didn't. But uh, it's going to take like brilliance and them to be like, they have to be playing not even average, they have to be poor mm. for us to even have a chance, I think. But they could be. They, if, uh, if they win the Champions League, you know, they might just be. You know, well, what was the, the score Cups between? Every cup's coming first. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's this. So the only thing I can think of this is Sunday. The Saturday. Cups this Sunday. Saturday, bro. This Saturday. Saturday. Oh, sorry. And then yeah. the following weekend's the Champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My only thing is that I think it's like, I think Ten Hag will drill it in. You do not want another team to have the glory of winning the treble, and I think that's the only thing that these players are going to have to go in because the last couple of games of the season. I think we've been so poor, and if we ever t- if we turn up like that against Man City, it'll be three four nil. Easy, but they've got to go in with the right mentality. Hopefully, he's drilling the right mentality, making sure they're grounded, but like working. But it's Man City. See, imagine if they get more trophies than us. Like they've already got more trophies, but imagine yeah. if you guys get top four, two trophies. Mm. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be such a great season, but I just I can't see anything but City win. But it's still impressive. You get good comeback, and you know to be in two finals. Yeah, I just think at the moment we're not defensively good enough to hold them back and do the counter. Yeah, but it's not bad for Eric Ten Hag's first first season, right? No, it's a very good season. I'm not saying he's had a bad season. I just don't. I think we're coming up against City at the peak form of the whole season, and I think even though they lost to Brentford one 0 <laughs> I know they rotated their side, but still, like, yeah, I it know. Ma- it, it doesn't even matter they rotate because they're all first team players. Yeah, of course, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, uh, let's keep it moving. Um, I want to jump straight into the Q&A now. We've got some questions from our loyal fans, um, all four of them. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Um, so the first question from our good friend Shoheb Ansar underscore Shibi Wagwan. He says, who would win, AFC or the great Moor Rangers? <laughs> well, to be fair, Moor Rangers had a l- great left wing. Left winger, right? <laughs> he had a. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, you guys don't know. No. He turned left back. Do you not know? The Dutch I don't know who that is. <laughs> the, du- the Dutch player. <laughs> it's him himself. Eason is it? <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, I think personally, um, I think more Rangers win. I think if we had, um, you're like a Dutch player. Which Dutch player? <laughs> the Holland player. Plays in the Holland kit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, just to make it clear, Uma has never made an appearance for more Rangers. No. Um, he tried. He failed miserably. I'm, I never tried. Um, don't, don't I, th- I think that. we'd give Arsenal a good game, Shibi. So um, I don't know if you want to create more Rangers on your FIFA game. And I think once the league is out, we've definitely got a chance. wins, yeah. man. So, yeah, Shibi, appreciate your question, man. Um, next question. I've got one from Nas underscore 8 Cassie. So Nassim Wagwan, bro. Is failing to win the Premier League next season considered a failure, considering second this year? I like I can answer this. Um, no, um, that's because I think that's a good question. By the way, a very good question. I think there's going to be a lot yeah. of teams that are going to improve. You got Chelsea who are going to buy. You got Liverpool who will buy. You got United who will buy. I think the Premier League next season will be big for the top. Let's say eight, because Newcastle are going to be in there as well. Yeah, true. Uh, say. Yeah. Let's be honest. Okay. Tottenham. And Brighton is still around. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's there's going to be some serious competition. And are City going to be so good that they're going to be yeah. challenges to get a f- four four in a mm. row? Okay. Yeah, true. Let me rephrase that question. Would it be an unsuccessful season if you didn't win a trophy next year? No. Nah, yeah. I. That's a. Mm. Yeah. I, yes. I'd yeah, yeah, have yeah, to say yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. We have to win. We a have trophy. to get a trophy next yeah. next year. Yeah. Well, imagine if we finish like fifth and get an FA Cup. You guys can yeah, no, 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 that's, still, that's, that's bad though. I mean, FA Cup used to mean something, man, but <laughs> she wrote like a pretty Arsenal awesome season, man. though. Too. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. So, even though oh, I, don't, I think we need Champions League, I don't think we need to win the Champions League, bro. I say, forget the Premier League, forget the FA Cup, forget <laughs> the League out. Cup, yeah. let's go all out for the Champions League, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. It would work. So we need it, man. We've never <laughs> won a European trophy, man. Very true. Very true. So what I do find mad about the Champions League is though, you know, it's not not every team turns up. You know, you get like how sick are Real Madrid? They were so poor at the Etihad, right? Yeah, yeah like, that's shocking. And if, if if you look at the the semi final, right, you wouldn't have thought that Inter and AC would both be in there playing each other. I mean, so. they got Tottenham in the quarters or last six. I can't remember. Yeah, but Tottenham. Probably. Let's not talk about Tottenham. So sometimes it is luck of the luck mm, of the luck draw, of the draw man. As well, so right? yeah. you never know. I think I think we can actually play and beat anyone really if we mm. put our all into it. I said, leave the league. Um, <laughs> Oh, what have I done there? I closed myself on the screen. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> You've been found out. I've been found out. He's been found out. Oh, no. That's down. I'll yeah. edit that out. Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Yeah, I think we can play and beat anyone, man. I think if um, Real Madrid did come to the Emirates or a team like that, uh, oh, no, they'd beat us, man. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about it deeply. Yeah, These nah. guys rolled over <laughs> Liverpool at Anfield 5-2, like, deep yeah. down. Yeah, but if City can roll yeah. them over, we can. City roll nah. over anyone, bro. Yeah, City, we, we, could you see them. us at the Etihad? Nothing. All yeah. right, but yeah, we're nothing, nothing, man. Yeah, but we 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 had, remember the first game against City this season? We dominated. We just lost, in it? because <laughs> I don't know about dominated. Nah, we dominated. Nah, I don't care what you Dominated. We dominated that game. We I don't know about it. We were in the game. No, 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 no. We dominated. I'm telling you, we, we were in it. I, nev- I never yeah. thought we dominated. I thought like we should have won. Game. I thought we gave a good game. I never felt like we dominated. The only game that the only game where I felt like we got an unfair result was the United game. Where I felt like that was a yeah, loss where we dominated it and didn't get the result we should have. That was a poor tactic change, wasn't it? When he brought off Zinchenko, didn't he? Uh, what, he made like game, f- he made like game. four now nah, United Arsenal when he yeah, made like four subs in like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then mm. literally United then no one yeah, knew no their l- positions and United just Martinelli was playing left back makes you left back left winger so and Martinelli scored that first goal as well right mm. and that should have gone and it, 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 it yeah would have our politics could have should have would have anyway yeah, they got the they got the dub so that's a good question though um next one from Jabril V underscore this is a poor question why did you bottle the league. I hate this bottle talk, man. Yeah, trust me. What is it, low IQ? We're talking about... <laughs> low IQ. Low, <laughs> low IQ I, it's, a, yeah, it's a low IQ question. So let's no, skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what do, you call it? what do you call it then? Underachieving? No, I just think we should not answer that question. Okay. And I think this person is now going to be blocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one from our good friend Arti, Artif underscore R. Says, who is the best super sub this season? Trossard. Ooh. Ooh. I know he come in late, but when Trossard came on, picks up the ball like fantastically. His feet were sick. He was always creating stuff. I yeah, think I think you know what ten assists altogether for Arsenal. I think he got two for Brighton. Yeah, or yeah. Like three that. in one, three in one game. I think he got a hat trick of yeah, assists man. in yeah, one yeah. game. Yeah, he got two at Wolves the other day. Yeah, that's a shot. Though. I got two in mine. Alvarez. Who I th- Decent, yeah. how many goals has he scored off the bench? He hasn't started a game this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, few, was this question? Just Arsenal or was this question overall? Anyone, overall. anyone. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Garnacho. Nah. Mm. I don't think he's had enough games. He does a few steps. But when he comes on. Nah, he's good, he's good. Uh, Garnacho looks good, yeah. Yeah, he's good. When he oh, yeah, comes yeah. on, like, super sub. Yeah, I agree. Always, always making. But would you say he's the best this season? Nah. Now having Alvarez. I would mean, probably say maybe Bobby Firmino. He's been good. <laughs> he's, why are you laughing? <laughs> why is this guy laughing? <laughs> he's done ridiculous. What's funny, bro? Like, no, last couple of years, give me some stats. Give me some stats when he's off the bench, bro. That's nah, nah, man. So he's got nah, like nah, ten nah. goals this season, isn't he? <laughs> when Bobby, do you remember when Bobby come on against us? <laughs> yeah, that's the only time he's played sick. That, no, tell me last two, nah, two or three nah, games. Man. Give me another game where he's played sick. I don't. Give me another game where he's played sick. Off the bench, off the bench, please. Yeah. Who did they just be? You're not fighting the laptop, man. I found it mad as well that Bobby never got picked for. Brazil. Brazil. Brazil in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. But Charleston still gets picked. Yeah, that was crazy. And man scored one goal. No, nah, but that was that one goal. He, yeah, he, he was playing. Oh, two hundred goals in the, off the in bench. The World Cup. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred and fifty nah, nah. I couldn't find these stats. Can you take? Can you take it back? From what I've seen, no, no, no. From what I've seen, he's been sick coming off the bench. Yeah, he's played very well. That could just be like Liverpool him. strikers aren't that good this season. I don't know. Or that so could he be. Made, he looks sick. Yeah, when he come on. Or that could be. You need glasses or something. I don't know, bro. Bro, Umez coming for it today, <laughs> man. <laughs> he's got yeah. the smoke, man. Yeah, man. He's coming to, at me only. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You must have been sitting there at night after last week's episode, thinking like, <laughs> is that oh, right? He said I got low IQ. I can't let that slide. 
<laughs> Fair enough, Uma. You, you're doing well today. Right? <laughs> um, let's go into the next question. So we all agree, Firmino, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Remy and say Trossard as well. I'm saying Alvarez. You could shot. even say Callum Alvarez Wilson. Is good. Callum Wilson, maybe. Him and he's yeah. like switch a lot. Good shout as well. Or um, oh, who's the Brighton right winger who comes on? And Cecil the Cam. Nah. Uh, Oi, uh, hold on. Uh, what's his Molly. name? Molly. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> March, March. March. Silly March. Yeah, silly March, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Silly March. Silly yeah, yeah, yeah. March. But Silly March started That's a lot of games Molly. there, right? Man's got Molly in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Solly Mark, I think St- Solly Mark started a lot though, right? Yeah. Do you know one? I, <laughs> that was it, that was it, bro. One, <laughs> one super sub for sure. The pig at home, man. Was Mares? Mares. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Good shout. All. Uh, yeah, yeah. Facts. How have you got 100%. a guy on your bench who can bang but out? You know a what? You know what is with Mares? Yeah. Whenever he came on, yeah, he was doing well. But it's when he started games, he was playing sick. He was getting goals, assists, and everything. Mm. So. Yeah, well, normally when he's on the bench, he barely comes on for some reason. I don't know why. Has Bernardo Silva been like mainly used as a sub this season? Then? Nah, he's been, yeah, he normally but starts. But City players, most of them apart from like yeah, they're always Carlin. changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially so in the midfield. It doesn't really matter. Um, next question. We got another one who didn't want to be named. Okay. Nah, name, name him. It's name my him wife. Chen. It's my oh. wife. He <laughs> says you don't want to be named. So uh, opinions know. on the Xhaka incident at Liverpool game. Oh, obviously she good. obviously she's a Liverpool fan. She <laughs> got a bit gassed. That obviously that was the turning of the title race. Sticky one. Xhaka got angry at Trent, and then they scored straight away. And then from there, Arsenal's confidence just went rock bottom. Mm. I think personally, I think it wasn't. I think it was the first goal. I think they would have scored that anyway, regardless if the it was just a, a bit of a jammy goal. Henderson, I think he went for a shot, and then Salah knocked it in. Is that um, I think that first goal changed that whole match. So they scored first, then it was just literally them attacking, and we just had to hold on. They scored again for me, no. Um, and then after that, it was just mistake after mistake going in. But I think that it wasn't the turning point of the title race. I think Saliba getting injured was. It ruined the whole squad. But um, it shouldn't be down to one player. So I don't think we were built for the title anyway. Personally. I don't know how you can say um, that. You spent seven eighths at the top of the table. Seven eighths. <laughs> seven eighths. <laughs> These fractions. <laughs> what do you guys there, think? Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what I feel towards that. What do you guys think? Is that the game where Henderson was accused of being racist to Gabriel? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Uh, another question we've got. Um, one from. S four one A H Salah. He says, "Who had the better season, Man United or Arsenal?" He didn't watch the last episode. Obviously, we discussed it there. Yeah. So do one, bruv. <laughs> uh, next one, Ismail <laughs> underscore Malik. Shout out, boy. Is the summer signing predictions plus one player you want? Um, anyone? So another player that you'd actually want for your team. And what re- reasonable or realistic? Anyone? Anyone? Just, just like I think it has to be realistic. Know. Otherwise, there's no point saying it. Nah, it could be anyone. I'd like to get Harry Kane for United. All right, Pele then. Oh. So anyone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be realistic, isn't it? Come on. Which one, man? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Declan Royce. I think. I think we need them. I would go for Neymar. I'd say. Where does Neymar play? Left wing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Martinelli. Why is that funny? You go for. You'd seriously take <laughs> Neymar. Yeah. yeah. I thought this Arsenal is, team. I, I thought Neymar, we were saying I would what? sell the whole squad for Neymar. That Neymar guy is would a baller. Destroy. <laughs> 100% uh, like as a wish list huh? or like realistic you think you could as a wish in. list realistically I think the players already said Declan Rice 100% I take him over Caicedo personally um, I think Neymar would do worse to Arsenal than what Ronaldo did to United Ronaldo Ooh, didn't do anything to United that's a good one I no. think Neymar's too injury Ooh, prone no. huh? I disagree mate I think Neymar's still got some in him. Yeah, but, but you just, bring it, you he's, can't, he's you can't too bring in someone. Prone, I think he's a baller, but you can't bring in somebody who you'd have to pay like five hundred grand a, re- uh, a week to to take like half the. But instead, you want to spread the cost for people like I don't know. Vinny ben Junior. White, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny Junior. Vinny yeah, Junior. Yeah, yeah. Oh, top, yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. These are, these yeah. are not, by and the way, guys. These are not like if you heard the question like anyone that we'd sign. Not realistic, but just saying. Yeah, and that le- and I that Leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Rafa. Yeah. Lo- he's a baller, yeah, man. Yeah. I love Leo. Like yeah, he was yeah, so yeah. missed in that first leg against. Yeah, Inter. true, true. But I think we're quite stacked for left left wing anyway. Yeah, that's on that I think. Side. I mean, he's crying out for like CEO. Bellingham. I don't know, but that's yeah. Madrid bound, isn't it? Mm. Well, if we keep if we win the Champions League, you never know, man. <laughs> never know. So yeah, man, we can keep dreaming, guys. All right, so we're gonna get knocked out group stages, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, next question. I mean, is that all the questions? I think, guys. Well, yeah, that's what everything. was the other part to that question? Because uh, that was quite a good question. So, superstar and 
So some are signing predictions and one plus one player you'd want to play for your team. Just like a random one. Okay, and Jared, uh, Mbappe then. I'd love to have Mbappe. Oh, God, how do we miss him? Yeah. But w- when Wait, when you're looking realistic, I think it'll be Kane. Mm. Yeah, Kane to you know it's going to happen. Let's be honest. I imagine, right? Sorry, Tottenham fans. 30, he got, what was it, 30? What did he end up Yeah, 30? 30 goals this season. 30 goals this in season. That, <laughs> scored in 26 different matches. In that dead he, Tottenham He's team. now got, he's now been, was it two seasons now where he scored over 30 goals? And didn't win the Golden Boot. Yeah, such a such such a player. Crazy. Like they had to break the record in order to stop him from getting Golden Boot. I think it's mad. Tottenham just need a total rebuild, right? I think if they lose Kane this summer, I think they might as well get rid of Son as well, and then just ground up. Restart. Their, their team is literally the worst team. I've ever what seen you, they can't do any worse That's than music to my ears. They can't do any worse than they did, did, did this season, right? How can you go mm. from third, drop down to like, eight? To eight. <laughs> They sacked Conte uh, when what? they were fourth. And you, got, and, you got, and you got a guy on your team who's who banged thirty goals. Yeah, and you right. still Stellini was funny though. I remember Stellini. He got sent off for not doing anything. Standing oh, yeah. there like this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know against, what wouldn't surprise me about Daniel Wolves. Levy? I wouldn't be surprised if he was stubborn and was like, "Nah, we'll run down his contract rather than give you to like a rival about Kane." Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they run down his contract. But who are they getting for manager? Tottenham next season, isn't it? They were linked with um the ex Bayern one. They need somebody who's just going to stay there for time. They can't keep switching managers. Though, if they use I don't know. You, maybe they can just get somebody in who's going to have a project like Arteta style. Like, I, I, think, I honestly think they've got nothing to lose. I yeah. think Tottenham in itself is a project at the moment. Yeah, it's just an ongoing experiment, yeah. man. Well, like, um, there's nothing coherent about it at all. Speaking of managers, Ooh. guys, I want to get into the end of season awards. Yeah. Okay. So who's your manager of the season? I mean, I think it's... If I was going to be obvious, I'd say Pep, but... Bar and Pep, because I think Pep is going to win it. So I'd say there's a few good ones. Um, I'd say Uno Emery, when he came in, he's done a hundred percent. He's done a what a manager, yeah. yeah. He's done a madness. What were they seventeenth? You lot weren't saying this when he was at the club. I was the only one defending Uno him. Emery. He was seventeenth. I'll check the group yeah. chats. You guys were all saying it, man. He was seven. They were seventeenth when he joined, or sixteenth. And since Amazing something like that. that. And since he's joined, I think only United, uh, United City, and Arsenal. No, I don't think United, points. Yeah. I don't think no, I've had better, more points. I've, I've, had more I've points taken more than, yeah. points than right. Villa. Mm. Something like that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so oh, got him. he's got him European yeah. football, man. I don't it's know how crazy. Lampard's not in manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say Frank Lampard. <laughs> Frank Lampard, definitely. <laughs> Eddie Howe's got to have a good Eddie Howe's definitely yeah. a good shout yeah. out yeah. for what he's done. To got Eddie Howe, man. Yeah. Especially when not buying a superstar, he hasn't bought any like. Thing is, um, like Pep, mm. you know, is, oh, it's got to be Pep in that. Yeah, it's been too but, yeah, but it's expected of him though. Yeah. Like, so it's then who's over exceeded expectations? Unai Emery, isn't it? Emery, yeah, he even, came in. Uh, Brighton manager, Brighton manager, manager. Yeah, yeah, what sick? Yeah, Bournemouth manager as well. Mad. Like, look what Bournemouth have done this season. Yeah, Brilliant. they should have been going down. Everyone thought they were going to go down. What about Fulham man- Fulham's manager, Silva? Where was yeah. yeah, I think he had a few injuries. That was his. He, he made he some very well. good signings as well, Cause, though. Because they only I came. The William signing was good. Like they. <sighs> okay, wait, stop there. So who do we think it is? Because I want to move on to signing of the season next. Don't want okay. to do that. But uh, I think we go- are we agreeing with Emery? Uh, the the season? Even though he came halfway through, yeah. And now, uh, I, I think uh, it has to be. I think he'd. Do you know what? He would yeah, get me. As, he'd probably Pep. get me as like my most surprised, my biggest surprise. Yeah, yeah. Would probably be. Unai I think Emery Pep Villa would win it anyway. What he's done. I, I think I had to mention Unai. Yeah. So yeah, let's go with Pep Guardiola. Signing of the season. I think it's obvious. Who? It's Haaland, but you're not giving Player of the Year though instead of signing. Yeah, let's say. Let's say we can't use the same player twice, by the way, guys. So. Okay. Okay. So. We rule out Haaland for yeah, signing. Yeah, he probably would have been ours. Yeah, so because you could probably t- young player of the season, signing the season, yeah. player of the season. Yeah, I'll go with, uh, yeah. Botman joined this year for Newcastle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a good shot. As he signing, I'd put him as signing of the season and give actually Nadja. I would honestly, uh, it's controversial. I'd give Kane over Haaland. Yeah, but for signing the season, or Nadja's player of the season. Of oh, the season. right, right, right. Are we, are we doing Ooh. signing or player? Let's do signing. He's signing. He's signing. Just signing. The okay, I would do Haaland as signing. Okay. okay. I'm going to do Pope, I think. I would go Botman. Pope or Botman, I think 100% have to be a good shot for that. Because without, I think, Botman in that Newcastle defence, I think they would have struggled a lot. Okay. Even with Trippier. I'm going to do Haaland as well. And also for the price tag as well. <laughs> what you got I'm going Haaland. Um, so wait, player of the season then. So you're not saying Haaland? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm saying s- Kane and I'm doing tr- a signing of the season. I'm going to say Haaland for that. Even though Kane's played sick, yeah. like Haaland Bro, if Haaland was in that team, do you reckon he'd have got 30 goals? Nah. That's all I'm saying. Oh, nah, I think he would have. 
for it. And if he was in that Tottenham team, yeah. you think Haaland would have got yeah. 30 goals? I think he would have. Yeah, I think he would have. Nah. Never. I don't think Kane scored a certain, like... What, he would have got five, goals. Ten, he wouldn't have got 30 goals. He I would not have got 30 goals. It's different styles of play, though, isn't it? Tottenham counter-attack, so... They don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually... Yeah, he's actually right. <laughs> they they don't have a style of play. And he still scores 30 goals. Nah, I don't think Haaland would have done it in that Tottenham team. But if... Nah, if so, so if Kane can do it, why can't Haaland do it? They don't you have, have to think, yeah. They don't You've have got to take Tottenham I've given, I've well. given Haaland as my signing of the season. Okay. Okay, so you, Har- you're Haaland signing the season. But, oh, but we don't play the season now, though. Yeah, we? but that's why I'm giving... So you're I giving, can give Kane, Kane right? player of the right. season. I'm going to give it to Haaland. Yeah, I have to give it to Haaland, man. Even though I hate it, I hate saying it. Just about. I think yeah. Haaland, man. Man said just about. <laughs> Yeah, well, Harlan's, 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 Harlan's <laughs> got to be player of the season, man. I don't think you can have that any other way. Uh, and I think you have to find somebody else for signing the season. For me, yeah. Jesus was signing the season because obviously I know that injured for a long time and Arsenal didn't do it, but yeah. he was like the catalyst for something like yeah. incredible. Are like, you Arsenal fans not mention him, man? <laughs> huh? How do you not mention him? Or Jesus? Yeah. I think because he got injured, I don't think I could have... That's, But I understand your point, but... He's yeah. what, like, I mean, he was... Um, maybe maybe we would have done well anyway, but for me, it kind of felt like that was he was what catapulted us. So. Yeah, I agree. Um, next one, what could we say? Youngest Let's do player of the season or biggest overachievers? Now the youngest player of the season. I'll go on youngest. Let's go youngest. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Saka. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be Saka, man. Has to be. Star- he played Star-boy. sick, but then when it came to those big games, he went missing towards the end of the season, Ooh, man. No. But I'll still give him the young player of the season. I still think he went missing. I don't know. He went a bit too critical. I don't he did go missing. I don't but it's not all his fault. It's not all his fault. The whole team went missing. The whole team. He started playing Where's Wally? But he did that last season as well. Dropped did off, but he was, he was playing every game. Mm. You know, and he's he's still a kid. That penalty miss was a bit mad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but shout out Saka. Yeah. yeah. My microphone Wait, gone. Yeah, oh, that's that's that was good. That's yeah, uh, uh, good. Check your wire, bro. Yeah, it's all good. Um. Yeah, I'll just edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't edit everything up, bro. I will, mate. It's, it's going to be ten minutes, right? It's going to be 10 minutes long at this point. Yeah. Um, right, uh, so biggest overachievers. Overachievers Boys. has to be Bright. It's Brighton, like, man. Like, Newcastle. Newcastle nah. got Champions League football, They got bro. the funds, bruv. Nah, they got but crazy they have crazy. the funds, but they didn't buy anyone. Newcastle, like, They didn't man. buy anyone super, like, superstar level. The, the only I respect they Brighton, but it's Newcastle, They're still good players. Isaac's tell a me, good Tell player, me who not... said Newcastle were going to get top four this season. Who said Brighton's going to get European football, man? Especially yeah. when Potter left. They definitely overachieved, man. Brighton and now they've established massively. themselves yeah. at that place now. And made Potter look like such a waste, man, as well. Yeah, trust me. Oh, that's peak. But he's the one who set everything up for Deserby, man. Did he, though? He the foundation. They, played, be- they yeah. played better football with him, I think. Huh? With he, he, they Get had out. a foundation. They had a foundation there. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back. But Newcastle <laughs> pulling out wires left, right, and centre. <laughs> so I'll edit that bit out as well. I think I think Tucker said Tucker said um, Brighton as well, yeah? There's going to be too much into this episode, <laughs> boys. I don't think I've got the time for it. Yeah. Um, Brighton. Brighton, yeah? yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, I've Brighton overachieved big time. I've, I've fought Villa. Yeah, nah, bro, they got European Conference, bro. European got, Conference, the yeah. European Conference League, Who? Aston Villa. Oh yeah, yeah. but nah, but the, they're in European football this at season, the beginning bro. of the season. They I were sixteenth, but we compare it to the beginning of the season, not midway, right? Yeah, they overachieved from what was expected of him. Like right, he was, um, he came in to sort of get him out of trouble. Not what about right. What about boys? No, no, no. Biggest shock of the season. I'm going to have to say it. I don't want to say it. Chelsea, biggest shock of the oh, season. Oh, yeah, what Chelsea. I love team. talking about Chelsea. Love seeing Chelsea oh, fail. Oh, yeah, these look crumble. But I was going to say Everton was oh. a five. I was right say Liverpool, one Liverpool that was 7 0. Oh, 7 0. Oh, sh- oh, scores. Yeah. Oh, seven Wait, nil. are you talking about the biggest shock? <laughs> and then they go and lose yeah? to Bournemouth the next week. Biggest man. shock, biggest shock. Shock. It's got to be Liverpool 7 0. What about right? Conte's press conference? The handshake as well. Conte has been a <laughs> That was bad. That's crazy. Conte is on it, but I'd love him. I, I would have to go with the seven 0 man. That one is crazy. Or the, I think Chelsea. That was uh, crazy, wasn't was, it? Yeah. That, that mm. I couldn't believe that. Every time, like go, go. Have you watched the highlights back, bro? I don't. Uh, it's painful, man. I was. I watched it, man. It was like. It was just. You didn't guys, it was embarrassing. You, can't, you watched. You watched no, the whole, I watched whole nine the whole, I watched the whole ninety minutes. Uh, That's torture. You're a stronger man, man than me. Right, because, uh, <laughs> do you know? There's probably people like in prisons. And they're being tortured right now, <laughs> made to watch the Liverpool United game. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's how painful it was. But yeah, that, or the Brighton Everton five one, like you said, that was like came out of nowhere. That was pretty left field. 
And that's why we were confident going into the game. We thought, yeah, they just come off 5-1. Yeah. We've got a chance here, you know. Get a W and you got spanked 3-0. We're saying Liverpool, Liverpool beat us 7-0 and they go and lose to Bournemouth. That was a mad shock when we let in that goal so early against Bournemouth. Yeah, that was that. And was then did the like, same thing with yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, like... Um, Ramsdale actually kept us in that game. Do you remember? Yeah, that? man. I think it was one or two nil or something. And yeah, I think he might have. He's nominated for save of the season. Save it was one of them. Yeah, saves. that was yeah. a, a wild reaction. Yeah. So goalkeeper of the season. I want to just say just position quickly. Oh, because yeah. last time we said it was Nick Pope. Do we yeah, all agree with that? I'm Pope still agreeing. Pope or Ramsdale, but I'm putting Pope. But Ramsdale, you got to give credit to him. Okay. Okay. Um, any other questions we want to say about the season, man? Generally, I think that covers it, right? Who's the biggest over? Like, flop who's the most the biggest flop? Biggest, biggest flop. flop. Oh, so, well, no, Are we talking just player? Let's here talk about club? the flop of the, 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 the worst signing of the season. Cucurella. Nah, Richarlison. <laughs> no, Richarlison. Yeah, yeah. Mudrick. Oh, Mudrick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mudrick. Oh, yeah. Was it zero goals? Zero goals. <laughs> yeah. Man's a snake. He bro, got bro. one assist in he his seventh game. Assist. I was like, no, one of that double assist. Yeah, bad man. What a snake, bro. I don't know, like Richarlison or Mudrick. It's got to be. How much do they pay for Cucurella? He doesn't even play. The way we thought we were getting Mudrick in, him. it was there for us for the taking, and then Chelsea just swoop in, spend a disgusting yeah, he amount was teasing of money. Us. Yeah, man. He might yeah. tease us on Instagram and stuff like. Don't tease me! Don't tease. Me. <laughs> <laughs> not I think not we got we got lucky, man, <laughs> over getting Trossard, man, instead of Mudrick. I think Mudrick would have been a different player at Arsenal, but um, you can't say what could have should have been. He might even end up joining in a few years. You never know. It might be like cost like twenty million. Fact, you want him after? He's, he's, he's got pace. That's about like it, him. though. You know, he's got a, like he's got an eight year, eight year contract. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. He's, he's going to be there till he's 40. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine, normally when Arteta signs players, everyone's like, for example, Ramsdale, thinking, why did they sign him, man? Or like Tommy yeah, Yasu. Yeah, yeah. But they end up playing well for the club. But mm. I think if these players went to Chelsea, they would just be mocked. man. So I think players are different once they join. Even Trossard. Like, do you think he would have done well at Chelsea? Maybe. He looks like a... I don't there. think anyone would have done well at Chelsea. That's what I'm season. saying. So yeah, so, so I don't right. think it's, it's peak for Mudrick right now. He just went to Chelsea side. So they're struggling anyway. Nah, that's not peak for him. He can go f, f himself, bro. <laughs> I don't think he's had a good season, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do like for uh, for Farna. I do like for Farna. I do think. I don't know if he'll make it at Chelsea. That's my. Yeah. I think a lot yeah, of these players good. that are looking like of the, yeah, all those Chelsea players, right? There's a lot of like young players they've got that show potential. It's just whether it will be. At I Chelsea thought that Kula Valley was going to be sick. Yeah, man. What a flop. Yeah. Guess who got um, player of the season for Chelsea? Is it um, name one. Is it Joe Felix? Do you know the answer? Yeah. No, it's got to be. <laughs> Imagine, you man can't even think of a Sterling? name. Sterling? <laughs> no, it was Thiago Silva. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he like 38 now. Yeah, yeah. Bus pass <laughs> next year or something. <laughs> Right, yeah, um, don't disrespect the <laughs> <silver> like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, boys, just to wrap it up, I just wanted to say one thing um, in regards to a plan B for Arsenal. Do you think we need a plan B? So, for example, we used to have Giroud, who used to come off the bench for Aubameyang, Legend. who wasn't really an aerial threat. He was all right in the air, but Giroud was a lot better. So when we got crosses coming to the box and everyone's defending deep, mm. we got somebody like Giroud to come off and help us. Do you think we need somebody like that again, considering Jesus... And Ketia, Balogun, they all sort of give the same in terms of aerial threat. Do you think um, we should sign a tall striker to help us in depth? And there's tough games, like even away from home, where we can bring somebody on. Mm. Mm. I think, I, I, think I, I mean, if it's not a striker, I think it needs to be somewhere else at least. Because I, when we're in the box, our attacking players are too short in the box. Mm. That I mean, we are lacking there, you know, like. Bearing when in mind, we whip the ball got, in. Yeah, you, you are, all other teams look taller than us when we take. And not only in. that, we've got good crosses of the ball. Martinelli, yeah, Zinchenko, and we literally just got Saliba tripping, and Gabriel no, there. Tripping, can get on the what end of it. <laughs> you would. Tierney, Tierney, sorry. He's gonna go though. I think. I think, um, you reckon? Get, I think, I think the only one who's not brilliant at crosses is Ben either. White. Yeah, I think. Um, no, in terms of crossing. Oh, in terms of crossing, sorry. Ben White's all right, man. Put some, some res- put some respect on his name. Odegaard is sick at crossing. He's got a few uh, good Let's say if we do so we've got all these players who can put in good balls into the box, but we don't have that that person that can actually. I don't know how many yeah, head goals we scored this season. But Giroud is like the best plan B. Yeah, Pregnant women take Giroud. He's that good of a plan B. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 that was good. That was cold. That was cold. But <laughs> like, 
Okay, but let's say, let's you, say who is there like him anymore? He's such an old-fashioned striker. Yeah, that's no exactly. one like no. It's like it's his new Big wave shout, of like bring him back. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a bad shout though. It is get him on a loan deal. It's not, not a bad yeah. shout because it's all these modern strikers don't are not like Giroud. Giroud's like mm. the, almost like the last of his kind. I mean, he was literally just playing in a Champions League semi-final, man. Yeah, yeah, literally. And he, he did score goals on the scored way. Scored in man. the quarters. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. so for a tall striker, who would you go for? Because I can't really think of a name. Unless John Vekos. <laughs> I would say literally just... <laughs> he he is so fuck. shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go for That's Giroud, our striker man. in the FA Cup. Yeah, no, on, realistically, yeah? Realistically, yeah. You take I think you could get him on a loan. Honestly, like... Should we just, just, should we just get Harry Kane? Tony? Tony? <laughs> Ivan Tony, yeah, that's a yeah. good shout. I mean, he's banned for well, Until November? Yeah, no, no, January, I think. Do you know he bet months. on Brentford to lose, like, four <laughs> times? But he, he's been disrespecting no, no. Brentford. Yeah, ever seen that video? Yeah. So yeah, I think Tony would be a good shot. Tony or Giroud, but yeah, I just want to leave it there, guys. I thought that would be something to think about. Yeah. Um, next episode, guys, we don't know when that will be, to be honest with you, but because obviously the scene is over, but we will give you some other videos coming through, like transfer spec and things like that. Um, so it'll all be available. Just follow us on Instagram, uh, TikTok. We've also subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, man. You know what they say. So yeah, guys, that was uh, episode two. We hope to see you again soon, man. Take it easy. Peace out. Peace.